you know, there are loads of reasons why people don't get voiceover work. But probably the main one, and the one that's the most um, treatable in a way, is inertia. So many people say, right, I'm going to do voiceovers. It's This is the year I'm going to do it. I'm now going to strive for it. And then what they do is they put obstacles in the way. And I've heard all sorts of excuses over over a decade and a half of why people are not going to go go with it with the voiceovers. Anything from, well, I'm getting married, I'm getting divorced, I'm having a baby, I'm going around the world, I'm moving house, I can't move house, all sorts of things. And yeah, I mean, you know, they're sort of legitimate excuses, you could argue. Or are they? Or are they simply obstacles that we put in the way to stop doing voiceovers? Really, if you're moving house, well, you're not moving house every single day. If you're having a baby or your partner's having a baby or whatever, yeah, you could have a you could have a, a vocal opponent there <laughs> who's going to be louder than you. But you can still do voiceovers, you know, it doesn't really stop you doing it. It won't stop you going to work. So why will it stop you doing voiceovers? So the next time you come up with an excuse, um, then just think about it seriously and think, well, do you know what? I'm putting, I'm putting something in the way of me going for it, perhaps because I'm too scared, perhaps. And it is nerve wracking, you know, no one's saying it isn't. But I think it's well worth examining those those obstacles and maybe just dismantling them and, uh, and going for it. Okay, thanks very much for watching today. Look after your voice. See you next time.